Well, I'm in Minnesota. So I just left Northern Coffee Works where I had a orange lavender latte and a pour over. I'm trying to run on a full or non-empty stomach here lately to try to just control another element of the run. Rented a bike. Figured I would come tour Minnesota on a bike. And I rented a mountain bike to do some mountain bike trails. So it's gonna be fun. So pretty cool. The event tonight ended uh, at seven and I rented a bike from the school. And so now I'm touring the arts district. A lavender vanilla latte. This was a cortada. And this was a Ethiopian pour over. And just know it is really, really good. I am touring Minnesota on a bike. Currently at this moment, climbing what seems to be the only hill on a single speed. About the reason for this video is because, man, super impressed with Minnesota's cycling area. The roads are crap. There's a ton of potholes and not just little ones, massive ones. But here's what I'll say. For all the massive potholes that there are, the cycling lanes here in Minnesota are incredible. They have signs that indicate to drivers that cyclists have the ability to use the entire road. From where I'm at in North Carolina, that's never gonna happen, like seriously. North Carolina DOT needs to give it the program. So many bike specific lanes, so many green intersections, so many cycling and foot paths, but so many areas that are specifically built for cyclists, the running community. So I was really impressed. And for the University of Minnesota offering to rent a bike for $10 a day and a mountain bike for $30 a day, I was having a lot of fun exploring Minnesota. I had rented a mountain bike for Wednesday, but was only going to be able to ride maybe an hour because I had a flight at 7 p.m. But my flight was canceled at the last minute, so I was able to make my Wednesday a lot longer. So I headed outside of the city to a mountain bike trail. I had no idea what I was getting myself into, but I was excited. Mountain bike trails in the city? This was gonna be fun. I am at the trailhead. Uh, it's put on by the Lopit Foundation. Heard about this from someone at the Hub, uh, which is a university co-op. I think I'm actually only three miles out of the city, but I'm 10 miles from where my hotel is. Freaking a lot of fun. I've already rode the course, uh, or most of the trails already once. One, it is really, really cool. It's an old golf course that has been converted to a Nordic skiing resort. Uh, there's a lot of Nordic skiing out here. That's, I think, what the Lopet Foundation is known for. But in the summer, no Nordic skiing here, so they turned it into a mountain bike course. It is really, really cool. It's not gonna be like your traditional mountain bike course. Everything's flowy and fast. There's some nice turns that they've built. From what I understand and from one of the staff members that is here, it doesn't get the usage like it should. Not a lot of people know about it, but oh my God, this place is awesome. And especially to be right outside of the city, oh my gosh, it's like crazy. So I'm gonna show you some video of it. Now, I wished I would have been prepared and had like my chest mount, uh, but I don't. So I'll be risking it holding the camera. So just know it's not gonna be super buttery smooth. Uh, I am using the Osmo, uh, so it does have image stabilization, but I'll be riding with one hand, death gripping it and capturing some footage for you. So. Okay, so really cool. Saw Evan on the bike path because there's bike paths everywhere here in Minnesota. Yeah. And Evan was nice enough to show me this amazing, like far superior trail than what we just came off of. And uh, man, uh, Evan, I am grateful. Thank you for yeah, showing me around. So Minnesota nice is about. 
Oh, uh, dude, seriously, Minnesota night. Seriously, I, I always wondered what it was, but this is it. And he's 50 miles in on a mountain bike. So if you're a mountain biker, you know how intense that is. And he was nice enough to show me around the trail. So Evan, thanks so much. You're welcome. I really love this trail. I could have rode this trail all day long. It was short, but fast and flowy. And man, it was just really, really cool for this to be right outside of the city. But I'm coming up on 20 miles and man, with no bibs, flat pedals, the ride got harder as the day went on, but it was a lot of fun and I am grateful that my flight got canceled because I wouldn't have been able to experience this. Definitely would not have had enough time to ride all of these trails, but when I finish with this trail, it's time to head back into the city. that the bike is returned so huh, now I'm going out because I had a really cool experience if you don't know I'm kind of a coffee snob I run a podcast called the coffee snobs if you'd like to check it out more than welcome to link is in the description but on the other hand I'm headed for some more coffee adios <laughs> 